Hi Aries, so this is just going to be your general tarot card reading for the day. I'm using the Energy Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. I already did an angel card reading. Um, so let's see what comes up in the cards. This will be general. And let's see what we have here. For Aries. Oh, wow. So you're trying, somebody could be trying to figure you out. So the envy was, was reversed. Financial constraints came out reversed. So I'm going to do them reversed because that's how they flipped out. They literally caught air and flipped out. What else do we have here for Aries? Ah, see? Something could be really good coming to you financially. Something that could um, improve your situation. Because that one did not come up in the reverse. So, this makes sense. <laughs> um, so, I'm calling upon the angels and the archangels. Raphael, Uriel, Ariel, and Archangel Gabriel. Please show us the messages for Aries and what do they need to see or acknowledge. Please be mindful if you have an Aries sun, that is your personality. The sun is who you are. If you have an Aries moon, that's the way that you process or approach your emotions, your feelings, it's the way you process emotions. Um, if you're an Aries Mercury, most likely you're pretty direct. You, so it has to do with Mars. Mars rules over Aries. What do we have happening here? I did this before with a totally different deck. I have something about pain and separation, but you're persistent, like you're not giving up. Okay. Chariot, very determined. Maybe you're driving somewhere. It's a major arcana, it's not a minor. Ooh, magician, you're making something happen. You're very determined to change your circumstances. Okay. So the magician is somebody has ideas, they know how to fix it. They're very certain and they're confident that they know everything to do. They know everything how to fix it. They know how to make something happen. Page of coin is here. Maybe a message from an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or an offer of money. Okay. This is fantasies. Choices. So many choices. Maybe overwhelm, emotional overwhelm. What's Aries energy here? Queen of the coin, okay, in the upright. Wealth, abundance, prosperity. Okay. Okay, around you we have the star. Hope for the future or Aquarius. Your fear is five of swords that somebody will come in and, you know, disrupt your energy. Um, two of wands. So you're going somewhere else. You're doing something else. You're inspired. You're at the crossroads and you've made a choice. So what is this outcome here? You're going to be queen of the coins. Page of the swords. You've got a lot of ideas. Somebody else could be watching you too, um, perceiving or asking questions. Okay, we have a two of cups, a partnership, a bond you have with someone. Now, seven of cups, fantasy, Neptune, imagination, things that aren't real. You've got things going on in your head. What is the seven of cups? Show us Seven of Cups. Ooh. Sneaking off. 
hiding information. You don't know what to think. I think you're trying to figure something out that's confusing. What is the magician about here? Okay, there's someone here that you're tra probably trying to push away or you're trying to stand your ground. We do have justice here, fairness, balance, equality, something a wrong that's being made right. What is the queen of coin? What is the queen of earth? Four of cups, uncooperative. Say no to an offer. Say no to an invitation. Why is there a seven of swords right here? Mm. The devil, you're, you're not having anything to do with someone here who's toxic or stressing you out or causing you worry or concern. Um, now, this sort of like a liar shows up and you're like, no, I'm, I'm not having anything to do with this. There could be a gift or some money involved. There's a change, okay. All right, well, somebody, so when you become aware of somebody's trying to make something happen, they've got ideas, they want to manipulate the circumstances, and this sort of makes you confused. Like, I don't know what I want because something is not seeming straightforward. It's seeming like someone's lying. You may tell them straight out, like you seem like you're lying, the seven of rods. Why is there five competition, five of swords? Okay, somebody wants to win at all costs. They wanna be right. Being right is more important than, than hanging out or getting along. What is the seven of swords here? You're putting up with something. You could be putting up with someone who doesn't tell the truth. What is the Queen of Coin, Four of Cups? What is the Queen of Coin, Four of Cups? High Priestess. Distancing yourself or following your intuition. What is the Justice here? Three of Cups. Celebrations, good times. What is Two of Cups? Empress, okay, Venus, abundance, mother, motherhood, energy. Somebody could be blocking you and moving on. They're just um, really interesting because you are coming together with someone. You are. There's a reunion, there's celebration, there's fun. Nine of Cups. Now, I don't, the person around you is in the star card energy, fresh start. Um, what is the star? Could be an Aquarius, queen of the water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the truth. Okay, there could be any kind of mother, mother figure, emotional person coming towards you, telling you the truth. What is the chariot here? Um, underlying energy is determined to move on the Hierophant is following tradition. Emperor, power, authority. What's the outcome here with the Two of Cups and the Justice? Looks like there's gonna be some good times, some happiness. Um, pay, or the Ace of Water and the Page of Water. Uh, we do have the victory card, the world. You come out of this fine. Seven of Cups, confusion, the world. You learned a lesson and now you're in a victory, taking a victory lap. The environment you're in is Aquarius, underlying. Eight of coin, three of swords, three of coin, four of cups. Okay, so... Show me more messages here for Aries. 
You're being practical, but you're also not persuaded. I feel like you're saying, no, I'm not persuaded. Um, oh my gosh, the journey just came out in the reverse. This is so crazy. I never really get the attachment in the upright. Okay, I never get the cornucopia in the upright. Really interesting. What else here for Aries? Goddess of the moon and third third chakra, having fun, having a good time. Third chakra is joy, happiness. Many possibilities are opening. Rest and rejuvenation. Anything else for Aries? Hostilities in the upright. Okay. Okay. I think you're going to come out of this in a really good way. Um, the journey is reversed. The financial constraints are reversed. Something is happening here where there's definitely a change. Underlying energy is the victory. There's a win. You have a six of wands. There's a winning energy. Like I'm winning. I'm overcoming something. Um, I'm not being held back. I'm pushing on. It could be that someone's trying to make it up to you. We have broken heart and man holding a coin. A woman holding a coin. Okay, there's two people here. The woman holding a heart. Interesting. Walking away is here as well. So there's no more reversals like those were flipping out in the reverse for sure. Which for me as a reader is odd like when it catches air and flips around. I'm like, okay, I'm not really doing anything differently than I normally do. So spirit wants that to be shown that, you know, whatever financial problems is going to be rectified. Uh just to stay determined and maybe if you have ideas going through your mind about how to make money or how to fix your circumstances, you need to go ahead and do it, you know, with the magician. You need to put it together. Okay, what is going on? You're going to be happy. There's joy and happiness. You're descent defending yourself. I got the devil, the truth, and you're blocking this. Like you're saying, like, I don't want this. <laughs> I don't want to know this. I don't want to be involved or something. Okay, show me nine of wands. Show me nine of wands. That's persistent but wounded. Okay, there's a change coming. Wheel of Fortune. Hermit and the King of Pentacles, Wisdom, Major Arcana for Wisdom, um, King of Coin, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Justice, Fairness, Balance, Equality, Wrongs Made Right, Apologies, maybe, Lovers, and the Chariot, Healing, a Relationship, Moving Forward, um, Nine of Cups, you're satisfied. It did come out with a Ten of Wands, though. Okay. It wants you to know that whatever financial difficulty that you're going through, and if it's not you, it could be someone you know, this is going to be rectified somehow, some way. Oh, wow. Ten of Cups came out. So this will be rectified, Aries. Um, even the Cornucopia came out in the upright. Um... You know, I'm a tarot reader, and this is subject to energy, but for the most part, um, tarot is pretty accurate, but there's no guarantees. It's general. Uh, and plus, a lot of you watching are not Aries Sun. You could be Aries Rising. So this could be all different for many people. Um, but in my personal experience... 
Even if I watch the Leo rising, that's pretty accurate because I'm a Leo rising. This is pretty, I mean, it's usually pretty accurate for me. Um, so I will leave this here. Thank you for watching and take care.